Hello, I'm going to show you how to calculate relative frequency uh, based on a frequency table. To tell you a little bit about my data set, what I did was I randomly selected 25 uh, women and I asked them what was the age that they uh, traveled the, for the first time out of the country. So as you can see, I have one person that traveled out the country and they were between the ages of 10 and 14. Let's say they were 13 years old, so they fell within that interval. I didn't have anybody who traveled out of the country between the ages of 14 and 18. I had about 15 people who traveled out of the country between the ages of 18 and 22, and so on. So this is my frequency table. What we're going to do is we're going to calculate the relative frequency. And to do that, as I said, we have 25 people in my data set. And to calculate the relative frequency, we're going to take the frequency for that particular interval and we're going to divide by the total number of people. So in this case, this would be 1 over 25. When you uh, calculate that out, we get 0 0.04. And you can change it into a percent. It will be 4%. Here, for the second in, uh, interval, we had 0, so it'll be 0 over 25, which is just 0. And we can just automatically say that's 0%. For the next interval, it'll be 15 out of 25. When we divide that out, I get 0 0.6. And to change that into a percentage, you move it two decimal places to the right, it'll be 60%. The next one would be 7 out of 25. When we divide that out, I get 0.28 or 28%. And then the last one would be 2 out of 25. When we divide that out, you get 0 0.08, which is 8%. Now to make sure your relative frequencies are uh, correct, what you can do is you can add up all your percents and uh, they should equal 100% and in this case it will. Now you may be a little off if you're rounding numbers. In this case we didn't round any numbers so we're okay. But if you round numbers you might have rounding error which means you might not get 100%, you might get 101%, or you, get, you might get 99%, but it should be close to 100%. So this is how you calculate relative frequency.